Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here on this YouTube channel. I try to share info about living in Jerusalem and Israel, whatever useful info I could really find in that bracket. Uh, folks who have been subscribing to me recently on YouTube may have noticed a bit of a trend that I've been doing a lot of these sort of informational videos and I've been using, as I've mentioned in a couple of them, uh, Canva to make them. Canva is a tool that has taken me a little bit of time to embrace uh, but now I'm really keen on it and I'm learning every, with every video I make, I'm learning something new that I can do to try to just make the videos a bit more visually useful. Uh, so what I wanted to show today for folks was specifically because there is an Israel connection here, I wanna show you guys the Israel library for people thinking of subscribing. So as you can see here on the top left, I've recently subscribed to the Pro Canva. So I have Pro Canva for um, a year now and that basically means you can use sort of pretty much everything in their library. Uh, you can also do stuff on a transparent background, etc. So I'm going to just go into the YouTube thumbnail um, template here, which is 1280 by 720 pixels. And I wanna show you guys, if you're looking for stock imagery, stock photos, stock videos um, of Israel, stock graphic elements, kind of what you can find in there. So you wanna click on into elements in Canva and that's going to uh, bring you up and it's divided into as you can see here graphics which are sort of clip art style things um, And you can see the Israeli flag pops up for me because I've used that probably in a ton of videos And that's something I like about Canva too. It kind of has a bit of AI bait into it So it tries to save you time videos photos, etc. So I'm gonna just type in Jerusalem now there's paid options for stock for Israel. There's also you can go on to uh, pexels.com as well and uh, Pexels have a bit of stuff. It's not a huge library, so I can put in like Jerusalem and some of these might look familiar for folks who see my videos. Um, and uh, you can also do videos as well. So it's not the only place that you can get it, but something really nice about Canva is that you can do all your work in one tool. So I've put, I've put Jerusalem into my search bar here. Uh, I'm in Elements and what I can do is click on one of these headings. So we can see graphics, photos, videos, audio, frames, and charts. I'm only gonna look at uh, photos in this first one, right? So this basically shows me a bunch of photos of Jerusalem that I can use in my videos. Uh, the ones that have the little kind of crown icon are the ones that are only on Pro. So if you only have the free Canva, you won't be able to use these or they'll be watermarked. So in order to not use them, you need a Pro account. But again, if you look at how much value canva is delivering <clears throat> in terms of giving you like a decent stock image library um i think it's actually a pretty worthwhile deal so this is what i'll commonly do is if i'm um using these images in video i will i'm just going to jump back here to my home page the only thing i don't like about canva is they don't have a button it seems so obvious to me for creating 1920 by 1080 frames for uh for hd video so i'm constantly manually typing this in but if I type in 1920 by uh, 1080 and I wanted to have a frame of Jerusalem in my video, I can go into elements and let's say I wanted the Western wall, click into photos and I have a bunch of options. So I might go for this one and then I'm just kind of manually stretching that out to uh, 1920 by 1080. You can do it preserving the original aspect ratio or you can kind of go like this and it's going to zoom in to parts of the image so you can do uh, either approach. So that's kind of the photo um, element and it's a decently rich library, right? If I type in other Israel keywords like Israel, I can get this one, I can get Israeli flag. Um, it to me is a bit deeper than what I could find on Pexels. I don't know how it would compare to other stock platforms, but for me, there's more than enough here to suffice with my needs, right? So, and I'm just gonna do one more keyword just to give you guys a better sense for what's out there. Here's Tel Aviv. Uh, and I can do, you can see the buildings of Tel Aviv. This one is Tel Aviv at nighttime. And the quality of these images is all pretty decent. So even if, even if, even as I kind of, uh, you know, uh, stretch out the image to fill up my 1920 canvas here, you can see by the sign on the building of Klal Bituach, uh, the resolution is definitely good enough to support that. That would look decent in the full res. Uh, so that was photos. Let's just take a quick look at videos as well. So I'm gonna keep going with Tel Aviv but this time I'm gonna click into videos and you can see there's actually a whole video library. So this is, as you can see, the coast of Tel Aviv on a kind of cloudy day. And it's a drone shot of looks like uh, somewhere like in Yafo to me, something like that. So what you can do is again, all you have to do is stretch this guy out 
to your canvas. Um, I'm stretching it out on a 1920 by 1080 canvas. And then you can uh, download this as an MP4 video. And as you can see, this is a 4K video. So it's, uh, it's offering me the option to do this as 4K, but I do all my videos in 1080p and you can save it so you don't need to, to go down from 4K to 1080 each time. Then click on download. And the only criticism I really have here is that this is kind of a slow process because basically it's on Canvas backend, it's rendering this uh, video now. You can see it takes a little while, and you but you can stop it by clicking X. You can also combine elements. So if I wanted to say like the beautiful city of Tel Aviv, and I'm just gonna sort of like have that coming up there on the screen in like yellow. So I can overlay that and now when I render out this video, it's going to be the title staying fixed and the drone shot in the background. And there's just so much more that you can do with Canva. It's very powerful. I can animate in this text so that it kind of comes in or something and just make turn down the speed of that a little bit. So it kind of rolls onto the screen and you can see for those kind of informational videos that's starting to look a little bit more uh, professional as I slow it down, right? For maybe a five second clip. So that's basically the stock library. Again, there are paid stock libraries, dedicated stock libraries, but if you go for a Canva Pro subscription, um, you're getting a lot between the stock video and the stock audio and the stock photos. There is a lot of stuff there uh, that you're getting in audio. There isn't, uh, I haven't seen much, but those, these two, and sorry, just before I finish graphics as well. So I can do Israel and graphics and we're getting kind of, um, more clip arty stuff. So I can, and, and again, you can add these all together, right? So I can have, now I'm going to add just like an Israeli flag to my video, even though that doesn't look very good. And now when I play the video, we're getting the text, the clip art graphic. I can add another clip art graphic here to make it look even weirder, but you can see it's, a, it's all pre-configured that this is on a transparent background. So it'll just show above the, above the image of Tel Aviv and I'm going to take those elements off. Uh, so that's it. It's a uh, really useful if you're looking for stock doing videos like I'm doing or just looking for creating social media graphics with footage of stock footage of or stock photos of common stuff you see in Israel, but you don't necessarily have your own stock library to base it on, uh, you can get a ton of value out of a Canvas sub and make all these uh, graphics happen. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe for more videos.